I've seen guys get a little cut and fab happy on this conversion before, and they usually end up having to buy a custom tailor-made carpet, which we all know only adds more headache and leaves less change in your pocket. One of the first obstacles you have to overcome when drilling out these old spot welds is simply locating them. I like to use an angle grinder with a 36 grit roll lock disc to chew away that 50 year old undercoating. If you keep the disc flat while grinding, those spot welds should reveal themselves as little dark circles. Then I'll mark them with a center punch to guide my spot weld cutter. You don't want to swing for the fences here because you want to preserve as much of the original sheet metal as possible. Yep, that's probably pretty close. Whew, kind of tall on the inside.